Hello there everyone and welcome back to my next episode on the Wells Knight Patreon server. I'm Mar and I am standing at the top of one of the wings on our base. Um, as you can see behind me, I have started uh, working a little bit on the, on the ceiling here. I put in the, the hanging chandelier thing that I talked about in the last episode. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of work over here, just trying to connect some of the, some of the uh, parts of the, of the base here. Um, at the end of the last episode, we had like a one or two block gap like right here um, with the elevation change, this teeny little um, staircase room wasn't really there. We had a couple of these stairs, but that was really pretty much it. Um, I don't think we had a railing. We had that railing. I don't think we had this railing, so I threw that in. There's all my shulkers, shulkers down there. Um, still need to probably close that off uh, at some point. Pretty sure that's a nothing. Um, although, re realistically, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? A broom cl closet? Covered? storage teeny little I don't know would that make sense it would serve like little to no functional purpose but I don't know storage cupboard um I do I do have plans of what, what we're gonna work on today um, I have not yet replicated that side on to this side um, it's still pretty much bare bones down here um, other than, of course, the initial portion that we did a couple episodes ago with that very first hallway um, that runs down there. So that's that's not a whole lot of uh, has changed on that side. Um, although I would like to do that soon uh, because I, I think having both of those two sides complete before we tackle the Great Hall will, uh, I don't know, be important um, since part of the wall is just, just like hanging right open right there. Um, so yeah, we've got that going, and today I want to work on um, the underside, sort of, of our base. Let me grab these. Should I get all those? Yeah. Grab our ender chest. Alright, and let's head downstairs. Um, we don't really have a way to get in right now, other than the... Well, the hard way, basically. But we do have uh, this area down here. Oh. There we go. Get out of swim mode. Or, uh, flight mode. We do have this section here. Um, which separates the, the two halves. And... Currently, you just swim through. There's really nothing to see. There's really nothing to do. We've got torch spam of the wazoo, um, but in the in the final design, there's actually a like a landing dock of sorts. I believe it's right about here somewhere. Um, and you can hear my mob farm right behind me. I would like to work on this uh, in today's episode. Um, I think probably the easiest way to do it is to just knock a hole in this wall and start from there. Um, it basically goes up a little ways and then it branches off to the left and one to the right and then it eventually goes all the way up until, you know, one of the doorways that we've created, you know, many, many episodes ago um, that currently leads nowhere. Um, so I, I want to work on that. Uh, I need to figure out exactly how many blocks from each side. I'm pretty, I'm reasonably certain that it is centered perfectly on, um, on this wall, but I'm not 100% certain. Like, it's not 100%. So let me do a little bit of counting, um, and let me, f and let me just knock a general hole in the wall so that we can stop bobbing up and down like a cork. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody, I have done the math. It is exactly 13 blocks in this side. 13 blocks on this side, and then a 5 gap between them, right here. And technically, we could leave this at this level, and that'd be perfectly fine, but I think I'm going to raise this up just a little bit, right? Oh, I can't because I'm, I don't have enough head space here. I don't have a... there we go. A little bit of a, of a, of a gap. Um, you can still get out of the water with this. It's, it's, it's perfectly fine like that. I just like having a little bit of a lip. Um, it, it seems to make more sense to me. Otherwise, like in real life, 
if, if he had a boat come along, even just a rowboat, it, the, the waves would just like slash right over it. I mean, they still could if it was a really rowdy boat. Because um, this is like, you know, half a block. And I, I believe blocks in Minecraft are considered to be like a meter or thereabouts. Um, so, at, what is that, like one and a half feet or whatever? Um, approximately. It doesn't look like it'd be that much, but yeah, apparently that little bitty slab is quite a bit. Um, now, we need to make the actual platform that the boats would, would come to. Um, like... Like, you get out, you, you park your boat here, you hop out, well, what are you going to do now, right? What are you going to do? So, I need to get some blocks here. We're going to start with our good old-fashioned stone blocks, stone bricks, like that. And then this goes in a couple blocks here. Let's see, it looks like four. So, one, two, let's hop on top here. Three and four. And let's go do that on both sides. So let's hop up. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to go ahead and use full blocks here just for ease. There we go. And then we're going to have it go up on a stair. So we're going to need a, another full block. And then we need stairs. Uh, stairs, here we go. And we're just going to bring it across. Alright. So that's good, and the height of this arch, uh, I believe it's just these two, and then this one is a stair. Same on this side. Upside down stair. Let's get our blocks. Uh, I'm not dropping anything in the water, am I? I don't think so. And I believe that's it. I believe it just has that little bit, and then we have a stair that turns inside. I don't know why I'm crouching. And like that. And I can, I think we could just fill this up with uh, stone blocks. So up here, come over. Um, I guess we could just cap it off like that. Seems reasonable. Um, yeah, that, that looks that looks good to me. It's symmetrical. It has, it feels like it has the right height to me. Yeah, this looks good. Um, because it's actually going to get a little higher right here. Because we have the stair here. So it would get really skinny really fast if we didn't have a little bit more height um, at our at our disposal. Um, I believe we have some upside down stairs running right there. Um, kind of, you know, to go along with the, the change in elevation. I think we might even have it like this. So let's see how that looks. Um... I think that's what it, what we have going, and I need to fill in some more blocks on this side though. We don't want that visible. We don't want to be able to see peek through and see this. Uh, not well. It's not that great looking. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> the ugly guts of our base. Yeah, maybe not. So we need to go from the front of this stair, basically the next block we place here, we need to go over five blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five. And it goes um, up by, I believe it's three blocks. So this would be the third one. And actually, the last one goes up. Uh, the last two, I believe, come up like this. Uh, let's see. Let's do that on this side. So, what we're talking about is enough three. One, two, three. Yeah, we're in line with that. And raise this up. No, I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. Because why not? And then the last two, I'll put another one. Now we need to have some, I believe, stairs. But before I put those in, um, let's see, what is this? Is this a stair? Stairs, yes. Okay. So I think we need to have a block like that. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Not stairs, not stairs. There we go. And this is going to be the ceiling, basically. Something like this. 
And we are now going to have a bit of a chore to get back in there. Um, let's just bust our way in here. And we'll fix that. Okay. Alright, now I think we need to grab some more blocks and cover the floor up. Like this. Oops, nope, not a torch. Okay, oh, well, there went the torch. Oh, well. Okay, so this looks pretty decent. I believe we need a light source. I'm just going to place it as a like a placeholder right there. Uh, we're going to do those things with the item frames and the fences behind it, but we don't have to do that right this second. So I believe that's the opposite one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so standing here, we've got one, two, three, and I believe we need a stair here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're, we're just continuing to, to bring the, the ceiling up um, further and further. Now we've got one, two, three blocks past this stair here. And then it turns, and I believe the stairs just start right away. And let's see if we can't. There we go. And it, the stairs are three wide, I think. Does that look right to me? Yeah, yeah, I think that looks right. Three wide. Which makes sense because that's the door we want to go to. And as you can just barely make. What am I talking about? Barely making out? Got Optifine. Alright, so we've got a stair a space and a stair so it is three wide and that's what we're trying to center on we're centering this staircase on that doorway and we're going to do the same thing over here on that side so we're going to need a stair and a stair and a stair there we go and i'm pretty sure this is just flat so let's go ahead and fill this in all the way over Need that back there we go. And then this wall is also flat, so we can just bring it straight across. Like that. Alrighty. Now, as with as with all things just about with this base, what we do on one side, we're going to do on the other side. So we don't have to do both sides together. So I'm going to just call it, like, right here. I'll build up this wall here. Um, and then we'll do one side. And I'll just leave this side basically the way it is right now. <laughs> um... Because, like I said, we don't really have to do it on screen, both sides. So now this wall needs to be, and I've got my pictures as always, one, two, three, four, five. So one is already there. Two, three, four, five. Let's uh, raise it up all the way. Like this. Oops. Did I miss one on this side? Yes. Okay, so we're at five, which is good. This ceiling here, I feel like something's missing. Um, what do we got? This is a stair, right? Yeah, that's a stair. Um, I believe we need another stair on top of that. Uh, this is just temporary. I just need to get up here. I think we need this. And then a stair. Stair, 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 stair. Another block. I'm just gonna do this. I. Oops. Oh no, I don't have no more blocks. Okay, where's my stone? One, two, three, four. That should be good for a little bit here. We're gonna actually use a lot of stone bricks in this design. I mean, the whole base, but. Okay, so that's good. We got two stairs now and it looks like those are the same height now which is what we want um and then on top of that looks like i need back up again and then on top of that the ceiling comes over and i know i could use slabs here honestly i was all let's use slabs wherever possible but at this point it's just going to be so much stone i just don't even care anymore i'm like it's a it's fine we'll use We'll use whole blocks. It's not going to be the end of the world. No, it's not going to make any difference. Nobody's going to see that it's the whole whole block, you know, once the build's finished. Nobody will know. It's fine. Okay, can I get down there without falling? <gasps> oh, yes. I did not want to fall in the river, or the water, the pond. Okay. 
So there. That looks really good. Okay, let's put up some lighting. Temporary, as per usual. Just our usual torch spam. And now let's start working on this side. So we've got one set of stairs. We need a second set. I know that for sure. So I'm going to bring that out. I, I kind of think of these as like being the wings. These are the stair wings. There. And then we need full blocks. I don't know how far we need them for. Let me take a look at my picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, I think. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Um, hmm, is this a whole block? <gasps> Oops, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Walt, didn't mean it, honest. So, could this be a stair? It could, and it wouldn't change anything. But I have my doubts about this that. Let me see. Let me recount it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did I say last time? Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aha! I did miscount it. Okay, so it goes like that. I was like, I don't remember that not being full box. I don't remember it. Okay, so we should be good now, though. So let's make this three wide. Oh, good grief. That beacon. I'm telling you what. Sometimes I really wish I had an on-off that was available no matter where I was. Alright, so there's that. And we need to bring this all the way down. There we go. And all the way back. Get rid of our extra stair. Alrighty. And the roof pretty much goes the whole distance as it is, um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it just goes flat for a good distance. So let's bring it, this is probably good. I'm not exactly sure how far. This will probably be fine for now. And it's just your plain Jane uh, flat roof. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Getting my torches back. Okay, that should be good. Do this side as well. Let's give ourselves a little bit of lighting. We don't want things spawning or anything like that. Now, we need to put in some more stairs. I know I have at least a couple. Um, one, two, three, four. There's at least four sets of stairs. So, one, two, three. Four and let's see. My picture indicates that it is only four. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Which we're still too low though. Unless there's aha. Yep, there's more stairs later on. So it looks like it goes forward three blocks. I think one, two, three torch can go three blocks and then it goes up again by two mm. I have my doubts looks like I need to make more stairs too I can hear my pets I heard a horse and a cat and a dog hi guys yeah I'm down here I need this let's make some more stairs there we go. And then grab our full blocks. And it should go one. Hang on, let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the ninth one, we need a chiseled as the wall like this and then after the chisel there should be only one two three four blocks between the outer wall so let's see if that holds true one two three four hey guys look at that we did our counting right I'm telling you 
Don't underestimate the power of counting. I just realized it went from slabs here to full blocks. It's okay. I don't care. Let's just do full blocks the rest of the way. Be consistent. It really does not matter down here. But I'm telling you, 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 you don't want to underestimate the power of counting when you're doing your builds. Especially if it's something that is like predetermined, you don't want something else getting in the way. You don't want to have half your base build and realize, you know, I gotta move the whole thing by one block. Believe me, I've been there. Not in this game, but I have, I have been there in other building type games and it's not fun. So this room up here, we've got to make this floor come to the other side of the window by just a little bit. Um, I think right there. I think that's it. And then we use whole blocks. Like, oh, oh, I'm out, I'm out of blocks. Uh, let's make some more. Where's my, here we go. Guess we might as well make a whole bunch of them. I mean, it's not like we're not going to use them. Alright, and then like that. That looks good. Let's do the same thing on this side. So right past the window. One, two, three, and a diagonal. Like that. Those kitty kitties and the dogs are noisy. Horses aren't so bad. There we go. That's a good shape, I think. Looks perfect. Um, we need some stairs. And they need to start, so we got this, got that, we got this above the window. I believe it's right there. And there's two of them. And then it comes in. And then it comes in again. And these go straight up to meet it. This is just our, our wall. Like this. Oh, I guess that... Actually, I think that just becomes because we got we got to hide that pump or both of these pumpkins up here. So I'm pretty sure we just completely fill it in like this. Yeah, that looks bright. Okay, so do the same thing on this side. We need to put our stairs right here, and then a full block and a stair, and a full block and a stair. Um, and then we need to bring these down. Like that. Yeah, that looks right. Let's put down some lighting. Actually, we should do that here too. Alright. Now the chisel needs to come up, of course. It's not gonna do a whole do us a whole lot of good if it's only sitting there one block high. Now the entrance those horses and dogs and cats are so noisy. Okay, so stairs. And then we basically just fill this in. We fill on the walls. Uh, there's nothing particularly fancy about the staircase itself. Um, like the ceiling. It's just your plain Jane straight across the way. All the way down to there. So let me connect this up and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I have finished off the roof. Um, like I said, it's pretty pretty basic, pretty standard. And it comes all the way down. Um, ultimately the lighting will be more of the pumpkins underneath the black carpet. Although I think I need to go get more wool before I can do that. I'm pretty sure my black wool store is basically non-existent. Um, well, I mean, I probably have a couple pieces. On that note, however... On the topic of wool, I AFK'd at my villager farm, and, well, thanks, Elytra. That's the whole reason I went up there, so I wouldn't, would have a nice, good height. Um, oops, I missed that jump. Okay, so, if we come down here to our villagers, we have a few more. And I haven't um, actually taken a look at their trades yet. This guy is a farmer. He does not have the best of any trades um, for, you know, for the veggies and whatnot. Um, but nine is almost the best pumpkin trade. I think the best pumpkin is like 
eight or seven or something like that. Um, look, the whole row of them is full. All the way across. Um, and I actually think I have a couple more. Maybe? Let's see. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. Give me that back. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got one more cleric here. Let's go get... Let's go get that cart back if we can. Oh, there it is. I think I'm going to have to crawl down in the guts. All right. Let me grab this minecart and put it back where it belongs. Alrighty, well, welcome back everybody. We've cleared out most of these guys. Uh, a lot of them were, um, like, weaponsmiths and toolsmiths and whatnot. Butchers, a couple of those. I got a Fletcher, um, but they all had terrible trades, and the Fletcher I'm not particularly interested with anyway. Uh, same goes with the Butchers. Oh, great, now I'm going to have a backlog at the Death's Chamber. Let's take care of this real quick. Alright, guys. Oh, you bounced the other guy in. Okay. Well, that's good. I guess. Unless I have a guy up here that I want to keep. Okay, so that farmer I was thinking about keeping, he got shoved in there um, by another villager. Oh well. So, didn't really get anything too fantastic that's worth keeping. Um, I did get two new shepherds. I decided to go ahead and keep both of those. Not necessarily because uh, their trades are particularly great. Um, I didn't really stop to take a look at it. Um, I'm 16 colors of die of wool. Who's got time to go through that? But I figured I'd keep all three of them just as just for alternatives. I'm sure between the three of them, I've probably got most or maybe even all of the colors at a one emerald trade. So you know that's good. Um, I think those are the only ones I got too. Um, that other cleric did not have good trades. Um, sent him on his merry little way. No new librarians. A little disappointed at that. Uh, there were some white cloaks that were in the system down below, but they were all cartographers. Um, so nothing too fantastic here. Unlocking the trades for the toolsmiths and all of the others and sure's up, sure's ends up being pretty expensive when it comes to coal, but oh well. We have quite a bit of it, and I actually have more in my lazy box that I can um, that I can break. See, look, you got I got stacks of coal ore in there already. So it's, it's not, I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. Oops, I forgot to put some of my emeralds back. There we go. All right, now I want to finish off the episode by taking a visit to the shopping district and uh, one other district. Um, so I will meet you at the shopping district. All right, guys, here we are. This is the entrance to the shopping district. And also, by the way, I don't think I've been down here with you guys yet, but South Tunnel's done. Look at it. Isn't it great? Uh, Stina went whole hog on this um, over the course of several days. Uh, a lot of people chipped in. Um, a number of people have contributed to the resources involved. Um, a couple people, myself included, also helped her place blocks. Because um, these tunnels are really long. So I believe the south tunnel here that we live in, um, our base is down there a couple a couple doors down. Um, it South tunnel's done. So... That means that we need to start thinking about our entrance to our base down there and our hub itself. Um, I'm going to have to do some serious brainstorming because I <laughs> currently have no idea what I want to do. But I know I want to do something, you know, interesting and definitely Skyrim themed. So it's going to take some pondering. What does that say? Gnome Co. or Shop this way. Oh, cool. Oh, oh that looks so fantastic. I was like, what in the world are all these? It's like Christmas lights. That is so cool. I like it. Stina still has a mustache. So does Little Man. Let's see if we've made any sales. Oh wow, I've been bought out. <laughs> okay guys, time to restock. Um, I think it's in this box. Shulker shells, yay! And I have a whole bunch of them at home as well. I don't think I have any wood. Did I not bring wood? For chests? Let's see if I have any in here. Oh, I have a whole bunch of chests, never mind. Okay, so let's just make a whole mess of... Uh, that's too many. What was it? 27 you can fit in? Let's do 27. Oh, I can't even fit it all in. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And boop. Alright. Then we'll just stand at an angle. 
and put them all in. All right, so now we should be fully restocked. And I didn't put any of mine in there. Nope, okay. So that's great. I can put those back, put my chest back, put those in my ender chest, like this, put my proceeds away. Let's turn those into blocks. Getting closer, another one full stack of diamonds, and then I can have my diamond beacon I want. I still need to work on the emeralds, but I mean, we can do that anytime. Nobody's bought more of my inauthentic forged Stina Rose autographs? What? Come on, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just for fun anyway. Oh, look, there's wood. Um, I, I'm not using it, though, because uh, this stuff is for community projects only. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this. I don't know how cookies can be incorporated. In well, you know what? I take that back. There is a bakery shop at the Villager Trading Town. I bet I could take these and put them in item frames. Um, and make it look like they're selling cookies or something. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. Honestly, I could do that with the arrow as well. There's a number of things here that I could put in item frames at the Villager Trading Hall as if they're selling them. I could do the, do it with the nugget. Um, I could use the iron bars in decorating. I don't know what in the world we're going to do with netherrack, but I'm sure we could think of something. Um, got a couple dyes. That's always good. Um, gas tears and nether star. Oh yeah, these. Uh, these were donated for the end hub, but someone else uh, had actually already put a whole bunch of them together before I realized it. Um, and I couldn't track down who it was who donated these, so I was like, well... I'll put them in here, that way they can be used for community projects eventually, even if it isn't for the end hub. So this is what I wanted to do here, but I do really want to quickly pop over to some place that should be under snow. So let me get over there, I'm not 100% sure where it is, so I'll have to do a little digging around, but then I'll be back. Alright guys, I think this is it. Let's go through and see what it looks like. <laughs> that was weird. The uh, portal didn't sound right there at the end. It's Gru! Making snowballs! Is that a dog? <laughs> it looks like a dog is pulling that sleigh. Here's a big ol' Santa Claus who's been mumboed. Bumbo Sant Santa Onai, created by Lee. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, Lee. What are we gonna do with you? You bumbo everything. You're gonna bumbo the dog, too? <laughs> Let's see what's inside here. Oh, cool. What is this? Like a sh Is this like a shoe? Is this Santa's shoe just lying on the ground? It doesn't really look like a Santa shoe. It doesn't have a toe. What is this? Is this a hat? I don't even understand what's going on in here. <laughs> oh, are these supposed to be like toys? Maybe these are supposed to be like presents. Toy boxes. That's possible. We've got a floating table, it looks like. I like the uh, chandelier. Same on this side. Pretty neat. Gru's going bananas out. What in the world? Oh, okay. I didn't see the, the brown stripe in the middle. <laughs> I was like, what is that? So this is basically our holiday, um, yuletide, festive, whatever you call it. There's a hole in the bottom of that sleigh. Um, our, our holiday area for, for December. Um, looks like this is a work in progress. Oh, that's cool. Let's go take a look at that. Maybe it goes on the other side of the portal? Not really. <laughs> a little bit of- little bitty pegman. This is really well done. Oh, you can go inside? <laughs> I think this should probably be lit up. I have a feeling that creepers can spawn on those, uh, on those ledges. This is really cool. I love the hat. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to bring you over here and see how we're coming along with our uh, little uh, festive area. I had an idea of something I wanted to do here, but I don't know. The more I thought about it, the more I didn't like the idea. Um, 
And I'm not really good with these kinds of builds, personally, um, so I probably won't end up doing anything. But I still wanted to show what we've got so far and uh, share it with you. So let me make my way back to my base, um, and we will continue working from there. Alright, and welcome back everybody. Um, I, met, I just realized my video is actually going horribly long. I'm actually probably at the point where I'm going to have to start figuring out what to cut out. Um, so we're going to call it right here. I hope you've enjoyed the progress we made, um, getting a look at our, our Christmas area that we're working on, as well as taking a look around Market. Um, even though not a whole lot's changed there, it still gives us a little bit of a break from from the, um, well, the constant stone brickiness of our base. Um, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed the episode, and I hope you come back and, and keep on going with me on this uh this humongous base that we're building it's ginormous isn't it it's ridiculous um but hopefully by for next episode i will be able to finish off the other side of the base that you know replicate what we've done on the other side and we can start working on the great hall i'm really excited about that a little nervous about the redstone but i'm sure i'll be able to figure it out again i did it once i can do it again you know um so keep on coming back and we can keep on you know, having fun. So I'll see you later. Bye.